any ideas in your life, they are fuzzy. Just like this picture, half black, half white. Your mind is going this way or that way. The doubt, that pivotal point where self-doubt and all kinds of doubt surround you. I think you've been there, I've been there. Everybody that sticks their neck out to take a punch at life, they will have that. Hello beautiful people, how you guys are doing? Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you so, so, so much. You don't even know how much I appreciate. Thank you. And I'm increasing my volume of the videos and I'll be doing more and more and more video with the financial advice and more so targeted towards the business. Like if you're thinking to start a business, how to start a business. And today's video we're gonna do about how to get the initial funding to get you off that ground. So here it is. When you're starting a business, you know, the critical, the most critical time is your idea. You pass that point, you decide it, you go forward with that, you start planning. The next hurdle or most critical point becomes the investment, where to get the initial funding, the one that will gas up your business and get it off the ground. In today's video, we're gonna address five or six ways that most likely you will fit in one of them or you should be able to fund yourself in one of them. So we're gonna describe those in a very simple thing. And one of the things you probably noticed that I do not read off the book and I do not write any script. All I'm doing is talking to you just because I succeeded in my business ideas and I created a lot of wealth by hard work and right approach and applying my investment in right direction. So hang with me today and I'm gonna be delivering some of the great ideas where you can get the funding and you can encourage yourself to go start your business and start the journey like we did. Thank you. See in business world, all of us when we start, we start with a lot of fears, a lot of fears and uncertainty. Direction is a critical thing in there. We don't have it. Even if we have college education, the degrees, the business degrees, it doesn't help because business has this uniqueness and uniqueness means it's non-existing entity, entity that comes through you, through your mind and through implementation, it becomes a brick and mortar building and a door that opens for people and people start coming into that. It can be service, it can be merchandise, it can be anything that you call business. But if that involves the people, that is business. Maybe one day I will share my personal story, how I got the funding and how painful it was to get the funding and how hard it was to get the funding. But that'll be another time, you know. If uh, y'all encourage me to do that, I will definitely share that story with you guys. Let me know in the comment if you like to hear that. And these are my hard, very difficult experiences in life to get to where I'm at in life. So one day we will share that and hopefully you like okay, it. Okay, without further ado, today we're gonna address that idea of funding. What is funding? Funding is to execute your idea in sense of merchandise, service, computers, settings, leases, licensing, um, the buildings, vehicles, whatever you need for your business, you know. Or it can be a food business where you need uh, the stove, the pans and pots and chicken or whatever you're trying to do. Or you can be in a financial business like I am and then you need the funding, you need uh, the computer programs, you need a computer that is sustainable and uh, the funding is a universal blood of life for the business, you know. So I'm going to discuss about five, six ways of initial funding for you before you can catch up this traction and once you start catching the traction you know you'll be okay so here is number one see one of the favorite thing that I always talk about is bootstrapping that means helping yourself from your own pockets you reach into all the pockets that you have 
and your family saving, your bond, your stocks, I don't know, I mean, what your savings are or how you manage your money, but really bootstrapping means you can really help yourself and fund yourself because to me, that is the foremost, the best way to fund yourself because this is where you don't have to worry about the banks, you don't have to worry about any person's interest or you don't have to worry about paying your partners or you don't have to worry about keeping up with your partnerships and stuff like that. So bootstrapping is one of my favorite initial funding. It can be small, it can be painful, but I think it's the best funding you can come up with. Number two. Number two is friends and family. Hopefully you got some friends and family that you can count on. And you'll be amazed, many times, you know, we don't think about friends and family because I say, you know, my family never has the money, my friends never have the money. But initially when you pay attention to that and seriously when you start asking your friends and family, and you'll be amazed how many people will fizzle out, wouldn't even talk to you about that. But there is always a small percentage of people in your friends and family circle that will catch up with your idea and they will believe in your idea and they will help you. But what I will say is, word of caution is, when you're dealing with the friends and family, make sure you have a well-defined descriptive contract that defines everything, the terms of loan that you take from the family and how you're gonna return it, how it's gonna benefit them, or when you're gonna re return it. So these things, the guidelines, you have to draw like in a concrete, you know, and make sure you follow those through because that's your pivotal point, that's your starting point with the friends and family, and that can enlarge, you know, if the terms and everything is executed, and you're the one that's gonna take care of that. So if you take care of that, your friends and family will be more encouraged to invest in you more and they're going to be believing more in your services or your ideas or your belief or your strengthen you in that direction that you're taking it and make sure the people that take journey with you you take them with you don't leave them high and dry in there number three number three crowd funding crowdfunding a lot of people together so this is kind of like an extension of your friends and family, but this time when you focus on crowdfunding to achieve that, you will be talking to a lot of individuals, bunch of them, independent individuals, investors, that will be willing to invest with you. And that funding can be a wide variety of people. Some of the people might be in different businesses, or different resources but they really don't care about your business what you want to do is you're the one you're going to be driving force for that but you can get the crowdfunding and again crowdfunding includes many people you just want to make sure that you get the people that have the like minds like you are because you don't want to get any people that are critical of your ideas you're going to have a very difficult time but this is a very good idea crowdfunding and if you can get 10, 15 people investing with you, half of them I'm sure they're gonna help you the direction that you wanna take it. Think about it. Number four, number four is the angel funding. And we're escalating from other things that I talked about. Angel fund funding is more focused and these are more individuals through their research and combining the resources, they're in a position that they can help you in a greater deal. In the meantime, these individuals, they have their purposes written down as concrete and they can exchange the finances to you in shape of indebting you or equity or the partnership in your program. So this is, uh, this is where things get more serious for you. You just wanna make sure that you take your focus and you really study the guidelines to get the help from angel funding. That includes uh, a lot of internet groups and it can be a group of doctors or engineers or many business owners and those are angel fundings. But angel, angel funding can be difficult for you because if you can't keep up with them, because these people are professional people already, they invest money in you, they can give you from five, 50,000 to $500,000, but again, it's gonna come with the strict guideline, guidelines and you make sure that you fulfill 
all the expectations so think about this one too number five number five bank loans bank loans are the standard loans for businesses many banks they do have their programs they some of them you know they only help the big businesses but there are many community banks they will help the small businesses startup businesses startup expenses and equities in your business you know and again in this you're gonna have to study the whole thing about these loans the terminology of it the language of okay getting those loans I will advise that always get some uh, legal help and some attorneys they specialize in those loans and stuff like that you know if you can talk to them that money that you spent five six seven hundred dollars on them I think it'll be well worth and they can guide you in the right direction that also in, involves your credibility your credit scores and you just want to make sure you get the best loan possible from the bank at the lowest interest because the interest can really kill your spirit so this is something that you want to be thinking about and again be careful with that use other options before you can use this option this is one of my thing I really do not get my loans from the banks much even though they want to give me this money and credit lines and all that but I am not interested in those from the day when I started in the business you know I never was interested to talk to the banks but that option is also a good option many big businesses they use that many businesses use that personal preference could be different you know personal preference can be preference can be different and that's what I'm talking about I'm not anti any loans I'm not anti any banks but it's a personal choice so you consider that and see if that works for you number six number six number six is grants you've heard the name grants many people talk about it many of the people don't believe that there is there any grants available out there many of them people say no it is not because those are so hard to get but believe me there are many many charitable organizations the government programs the government minority sectors they do have grants but it takes uh, a lot of paperwork a lot of investigation and research and if you can really talk to the right people you can also seek into the grants the grants are the one that you take that you use that and hopefully many of the charities they expect you to invest back into their charity if that works for you and uh, you're going to be donating money back to them or in shape of service or something like that that's a good one but the good thing about that one is if you can get the grant you don't have to return it so think about that too but don't fo focus too much you know I've told you five six different options you know just think about it and see how you fit last but not least I'm here to encourage you to go start your ideas go live your life go start a business why not freeze yourself freeze your mind up freeze your finances get your freedom back nine to five is great but why not have your own time dedicated to you where all this time belongs to you your family your children your wife your siblings your loved ones you can spend more time with them you're gonna work hard even though when you decide to open up a business you know you're gonna be dedicating 100% time and effort into that business but guess what you will get 110% back from the business so let's see if we can start the journey if I can help you any kind of way please comment and uh, ask me the question I will be glad to help you because that's my ultimate goal to help you other than that I have no other motives but help you and at the end uh, I thank you so much for your time thanks for watching hopefully I have something here that you can use for uh, your good or if you have any questions please uh, leave in the comments and I would be glad to address that question ask me any financial question and I will try to answer that also like subscribe and comment I need that I need your help to build this community build this small community that we can be talking business 
because I see a lot of people on YouTube but they are leading you in this direction and that direction to achieve their own objectives really I don't have any objectives to achieve really I'm not doing this for the money I'm just doing for the passion of it because I'm passionate about the business and if you're watching my video obviously you do have a business bone in you and I'm here to help thank you so much and I'll be in touch thanks